Well, welcome everyone. It's Evelyn. Take a deep breath. of love and healing. This is a Divine Mask and Twin Flame read. For those of you not f familiar, it's a seven deck read. It is for the Divine Mask and Twin Flames, so it affects the masculine within the feminine as well. It's a general read, so please don't force it to fit if it doesn't resonate with you. <coughs> Excuse me. I just ate something, so. All right, so some very interesting stuff was coming up from the the feminine oriented read that I did um, earlier. I was getting um, what I did want to tell you. I was watching. Um, I was watching after I did the the feminine uh, video. The video was actually the uh, the read was done yesterday or last night and I did the video this morning but this morning when I woke up after I'd done my video already yesterday or I didn't read at least I was watching Awakening to Spirit I don't know if you've ever watched Cindy before but she's she's really it's really funny because she doesn't really believe in twin flames from what she said on her videos but she is the best twin flame reader so if you want to check her out you can but I was watching Libra for Awakening to Spirit I have um, my moon and my, not my moon, my uh, Mars and my Mercury are in Libra. Um, but um, like everything that she said in that video today was resonating with something that I was dealing with yesterday. So yesterday I had done uh, Cosmic Gyp Gypsies, um, Jen McCarty's uh, meditation video for the, um, the Equinox. And it, not to mention it was, you know, a really good meditation. But uh, when I watched Cindy this morning, uh, the first thing that came up, which was so significant, which, was, which is what sparked me in the first place. After I did the meditation with Jen yesterday, um, we were just finished doing the meditation and I got up to, to click off my computer and there's pictures of my kids on the wall behind my computer. And as I looked at the computer, literally one of the, the picture of my daughter when she was three years old literally came alive and was like a person coming out of the wall <laughs> at me. And I've never experienced that before. And literally, Cindy said the exact same thing in her video when I watched this morning about um, her grandfather's picture looking at her, like becoming 3D and looking at her. It was so weird. And then um, she, she brought up uh, the dragon and I just... Uh, recently had a dream of a dragon with someone's face on it, which I then told them um, that they were the dragon in my dream and their face uh, was on the dragon in a very positive way. And then she was getting the king and queen of swords, which came up in my read. But she's talking about someone that you've, that you, you knew very well, or, um, you know, like a grandparent or that kind of thing. But the king, king and queen of swords could match my parents perfectly because they're twins they're not twins. They're both Geminis that are seven years and seven days apart. And my father's passed. My mother's in the Alzheimer's facility, but she's been there for a long, long time. Um, but, um, you know, one very nurturing and happy and the other one with, you know, a lot of, um, with a lot of anger issues. And they were coming up exactly like she said, and it could be my grandmother too, my, my father's mother. Um, but all sorts of things around that were coming up because then she was wearing a guest shirt that said established 1981. So guess was coming up for me, but also 1981. And that was, that was right before both of my grandmothers died. As she's talking about grandmothers or grandfathers coming through, but both of my grandmothers died that same year. So, um, what else was coming up here? Oh, and then she was talking about the card, the Angel of Love from the Energy Deck, which I use as well. 
Um, and right away I was getting the loving inner child. And it was so funny. She's talking about the, the angel of love card as she proceeds to pick up her dog because her dog came over and wanted love. And she's literally nurturing her dog like a little baby, <laughs> like we're supposed to do with our inner child. But she wasn't even noticing that as part of her read, but it was so part of her read. Um, and she was, ta and then, um, there was just so many things that were coming in, not just about her read, but about, uh, the synchronicities coming up with all, uh, matching all of the things that were happening. So SS stuff, SS minnow, SS Nazi stuff, safety and security was coming up. Of course, social security comes up under SS as well as the Holy Grail. And then the, um, Um, again, the say it's soft, like it's almost like praying for Maria, but the Sophia energy was coming up again, the divine feminine. And it was so much about the divine feminine getting her sovereignty. And, um, she was talking about, you have to wait for your fruit to ripen. And my tomatoes haven't ripened outside, but I recently found out this week that tomatoes are really bad for you, especially for me. And I know that cause I had a test before where tomatoes came up at the top of the list for me not to eat. And I eat them all the time. Um, and then the year of the dragon was coming up and 2012 was the year of the dragon. And I just finished doing a card, um, cause I'm still working on my tarot deck. That was the, a picture of the moon that I took from 12, 12, 12, 2012. So that was very significant. Um, Yeah, it was just everything was so like in sync. It was very cool, especially the the picture popping off the wall because I never felt, I mean, I look at those pictures all the time and I never felt like my daughter was literally coming out to me in 3D. Um, yeah, the song and then all my, the song On My Own was coming up too from Les Mis. On my own, pretending he's beside me. That song was coming up and the, um, she was talking about the 10 of cups and the 10 of pentacles, um, with the storm warning card and talking about a union, a union or a family connection that is unbreakable <laughs> and rebirth to this heaven on earth again. So Again, I was relating, she wasn't bringing up Lemuria or Atlantis, but it was totally about that energy of coming home again, that, that we're doing it for the first time solely on an energetic level to bring the unions in, um, using your intuition to ground from the 5D into the 3D, where energy can then become a re reality. So that she was saying. So it was just, it was just really good. So... For the Divine Masculine, and again, I told you earlier, I was getting Werewolves of London. And um, there's a lot of uh, twins who talk online from England. So there, it's a very significant um, portal there um, for the twins, especially with communications. And I've cut the Seer and Starseed deck at 201 to 202 for this read today. And I finished it at 219 to 22. 19 is the sun, 22 is the fool, and there's a lot of twos here, 201 to 202, being the magician and the, the, the high priestess, excuse me, and then um, the, the major arcana that came up for this read were starseed, higher self, and karma, before the read was the tower, after the read was guidance, which is like the hierophant, um, karma is like the judgment card, and starseed is the magician, is the, um, the fool, Higher self, of course, is the high priestess. We had three wands, one sword, three cups, and one pentacles. And I was getting groupings here because it was coming up 31, 31. The wands, three, was being grouped with the sword, one. And the cups was being grouped with the pentacles, one. So three, one, three, one. Um, which makes sense because that's like wand, like um, fire and fire and air go together just like cups and pentacles or emotions and um, the earth. So we have the king of swords and the king of cups came up in this read and afterward the knight of wands and the king of pentacles also came up. So a lot of masculine energy. There were three kings here. And the code line was all about domestic harmony intuition. We had double threes, double fives, even most significant were double sevens, the 77 of the sovereign, the nine of pentacles. 
33 is the Christ vibration and the Seven of Wands. 55 is the Ace of Swords, Excalibur. And so uh, the code line, Domestic Harmony and Intuition. So the other numbers that came up here, um, the code line was all about 15 or 17 actually could come up here. 15, of course, is the devil or the shadow, and 17 is the star. And so maybe there's a question on whether the star is the shadow side, right? Needing attention like that. And the other numbers that came up were the king of wands, the 35 of the wounded warrior, the 57 of the three of swords. And this was 57 was a very significant message today. It was pretty cool, actually. 78 is the 10 of pentacles. And 810 is zero behind 81, which is the end of karma with a lot of source energy backing it up. And in a lesser sense, uh, 34, which is the eight of wands, and 45, which is the five of cups, that uh, grief card. Oh, by the way, I said, yesterday I said that, that the day added up to 25, but I'd written it down wrong. It, it was supposed to be 35, which is the wounded warrior, which was yesterday. Today is the energy of the 36, nine, the three, six, nine. 36 is the 10 of wands, the weight of the world upon your shoulders, the Atlas energy. And the day is the 23rd, and 23 is the King of Wands. So we had those two fiery energies of, you know, carrying that burden, and that you're going to drop if you don't stop trying to push it so much. And then the King of Wands, and the King of Wands was coming up reverse today, so very exhausted, most likely. So the message on the code line, expand to contract, toggle up to source, to I am present, in order to expand again. Two off balance in a flash of light, the 80th or the eight, the dance to the nth degree regarding the mass of 57, the three of swords of Christ-like, or in other words, the class of 57, the separation class of 57, the higher self, and you notice higher self is HS, which is high school, Stepping into intuition and domestic harmony at graduation. And because 80 and 57 were both coming up here, I was getting something significant about 2037. But the lightning dance to the nth degree or the dance of Trinity, instead of Christmas, Trinity mass, expanding the seven of pentacles or the divine feminine's heart and the higher self stepping into their intuition. Uh, I went into Wiktionary, and the word of the day was Sangoma, which is South Africa traditional healer, herbalist, or witch doctor. And then the foreign word was Guzmuk, to walk, travel, hang out, go out, date, have sex. And then I went back to the uh, code line again, and foot was coming up, which is also 12 inches. <laughs> 12 inches I am, or the phi of expanding the chakra system to source and then the phi again so they were defining two different phi's fi is expanding the chakra system and f is just representing phi then expands the human condition okay the chakra system and then the human condition expanding within self of the chakra system and then expanding outside self and it was actually showing me up and then out so some some people might be putting on weight as well here um, the 90 degree angle comes up with that going up and out, right? Because we're going, it's like the 90 degree angle, the triangle. So the 90 degree angle of the square comes up, the twins off center in a flash dancing. So now we have flash dance and the number eight of dancing manifesting to the 98th degree because we just went from a 90 degree angle to the eight of the dance, which is the human temperature, 98 degrees. Of just just above center so it's coming up as 90 degrees is like the center and 98 is just above the center right airing to the side of the light dancing on the high road through e mass so instead of christmas being dedicated to the feminine sophia mass um the, the next three months 278 or 357 was coming up 78 is the 10 of pentacles, 30, 57 is that three of swords. So it's like, do would you rather have to deal with two, two months of the 10 of pentacles family, which where they're 
telling you everything you have to do every minute of the day, or three months of the 57, which is the sorrow energy, which the feminine has been in most of the day. So it's kind of referencing the difference between the masculine and the feminine's journeys. And then the phi of the IV, and IV can also be the emperor, number four. I am that I am, the seven of crystals. And crystals literally means Christ-like, because ALS is like Christ, like Christ or Christ. The divine feminine within the divine masculine in the chariot of Christ-like, the divine masculine's heart in the E tower, or excuse me, the divine feminine's heart in the E tower. Let me just correct that. Um, the 5D higher self, the step of intuition and domestic harmony, or sweet pea and the pie, or pie before phi, expanded outside the lines. Now, they may not be so sweet after expanding outside the lines, and not, and not so outside the lines, coming back to zero point. So it's saying, so the one that was so sweet needs to be less sweet, and the one that was so outside the line now comes back and is not so much outside the line. And it's literally like the movie Grease, which is so funny, because I had a reading it years ago, like two or three years ago, at least, where they were referencing my journey as, um, you know, uh, Danny and um, what was her name in Greece? I'm just blanking out. But anyway, you know what I mean? But it's like that coming from the extremes to the middle. So compromising a little bit on either side. Coming back to the zero point after the five expansion and the need to center, the phi of the five expansion and coming home for dinner, intuitively knowing when to come home. Like that reminded me so much of when I was a kid. We didn't have all the things we have today. And, you know, when it was dinner time, we were always outside playing. And so the mothers would, of course, have to scream outside around the neighborhood to get the kids to come home for dinner. So the 90 degree angle was coming up here. And you notice the 90 degree affects all of the shapes. It's 90 degree in the right triangle, 90 degrees in the diamond and the square. And the middle of the circle, right, is the 490 degrees, which makes up the 360. So that was coming up again, the up and the over, the out, making that right angle degree. The 90 degrees times 4, remember, equals 36, or the 360 degrees. So realizing what a significant number 36 is, the 10 of wands, the weight of the world upon your shoulders, um, and the sequence of that. So the 90 times 4 equals 36. And the Ten of Wands, and also uh, yesterday was coming up as Gandhi's birthday. Um, his birthday is 10 to 1869, which adds up to 36 as well, plus today adds up, adds up to 36. So it was very significant. Um, the sequence then was coming up 9, 18, 36, 72, 144, and so on, 288, 576, 1152, and then 2304 was coming up as the significant number today. 23 being the king of wands and 4 being the emperor. And they were highlighting the numbers like 144, the significant number of 44, but also the significant number of 14 and 4. And the same with 288, the 28 of the twins and the 88 of the two twins dancing, both balanced in their masculine and feminine. So there's a lot of uh, numbers popping out here. And then I went to, to take a bathroom break and it was 314 on the clock. It was pi. Okay. So, the 3131 was coming up as Twin Peaks. And then Death Valley was coming up yesterday in the read as well. Or was that today? Now I can't even remember. But it's definitely coming up as being left out in the cold, you know, not no one coming and searching for you, being left basically in Death Valley to just wither away. So... The 12 inches, it was. The Divine Feminine, the, uh, the EV of the 8 or the Eve of the 8. Thermatology, or the field of breeding and propagating plants and animals as the IV expansion. The I am presence of the Divine Feminine in the E Tower, the 5D Tower, and the Higher Self, or high school graduation. And Sweet Pea, the Pi Neo Gland, right? The Sweet Pea. That little pine cone is like a pea. When the, high, when the higher self is sweet pea, the pea chakra is up and kneels to God and Lou. 
God's shadow side, a reflection of self, or in other words, higher self. So Pi Phi was coming up, going from Pi, which is the centered human, to the Phi, which is the expanded human, knowing they need to then come back to center. Uh, pers uh, so it means, first of all, personally, identifi personally identifiable financial inter information, Pi Phi. And then there's Pi Phi Networks, which provides easy access to every smartphone, smart TV, computer, security cameras, etc. And then Pi Phi Tech, leading it with cybersecurity solutions, um, provider with three office, main offices in Dubai and New Delhi, which New Delhi just came up because that's where Gandhi was assassinated. Or was he born? I think that's where his assassination was. And also Lucknow came up with 52 employees and 52 came up as really significant yesterday with the Queen of Swords. And I woke up at 5, 52 as well as seeing the number 52 on the screen the night before. So the King and Queen of Swords are really significant this week. And then... Uh, Jen was talking about Glastonbury, Glastonbury Tour, and when I looked it up, the coordinates are 40, it's 41, no, I'm sorry, it's 51, what was it exactly? I need one second. It was like 51.144, it was a very significant number. The, the latitude for Glastonbury tour was 51, which is the King of Swords, 0.144444, so five fours, really significant. So the 144 is in there and the 51, which is the King of Swords, but it's also the 51 of the angle of the, the pyramids, the 51.51, whatever is 515151. So um, where are we here? So the 52 employees came up under this Pi Phi tech. Um, and then another one was the Chinese Academy of Sciences. Their CAS, President's International Fellowship Initiative, is also Pi Phi. And then another site was 2PiFi.com, high-capacity microwave backhaul. So they people who have problem getting connection over the mountains and things like that, they, they're problem solvers in that respect in Wi-Fi. So then I was getting like um, like codes of Pi Phi, but regarding the chakra system up, like toggling up with your chakra system. So I was getting Pi Phi Chup or Pi Phi Cup, right? Pi Phi Chakra Up. So it's like a little code word for us, Pi Phi Cup. Or it could be Pi Phi Chakra Up. So I started this read at Two of Wands with it's two of wands reversed over here with the clarification cards on top, the mini ones. And beneath that card, the two of wands, was the tower reversed, the five of pentacles reversed, the three of wands upright, and the four of wands upright. So no options after sudden events, epiphanies, or avoiding disaster, recovering from exile, destitution, injury, or illnesses, present at home or gifted home at 341, which is interesting, that's a, a, a mixture of pi there with the 341. Three is the Empress, 41 is the Ace of Cups. The Queen of Swords sharing, implementing a plan to get away from depression and arrogance, two sides of the same coin, guarding the 5D connection with rest, sleep, meditation time at a distance or in disconnect or two taking a break. Sleeping on what the, sleeping on what the Queen of Wards the Queen of Swords says, so sleeping on it to allow it to kind of stew, not seeing eye to eye on how to distribute, or just not seeing face to face. Standing up, leaning out the window or over the balcony, perhaps screaming at someone from a distance and getting in their car, or not agreeing with them, the Empress reversed in car or driving away or traveling to the Queen of Swords upright, the Knight of Pentacles reversed, and the Page of Swords reversed. The Queen of Swords upright telling their fortune, perhaps, or reading the Knight of Pentacles reversed, um, being stubborn, stuck on, or on strike, or with no ambition, and the Page of Swords reversed, perhaps lying, spying, or just negative self-talk, or trash mouth, or just won't shut up, or bad news, or no message, perhaps bipolar, ADHD, or autism spectrum, rolling out the natural red carpet over brick and wearing all natural materials perhaps pink and green. 
dark sludge over the fields not seen, or sending out healing message to troubled teens or struggling young adults. Out of options or chose path and unable to implement now, message delays or negative self-talk, rumors and needing courage, strength with secret passion taking forever to end, to carry the burden of passion and codependency for the Divine Masculine, no, a no-love partnership, and surprise, the Ten of Cups is sending him out while readying the house, perhaps for a party or sale, or renting or buying a place up the mountains, or retreat for twin couples and collecting pearls, getting feng shui ready, a woman ordering a man around telling him where to go and what to do, perhaps for their next vacation plan at 408, which is the Emperor and the Strength card, or Leo, and the Emperor's Aries. At 409, then, with the Hermit, with the Emperor, Scissors Magnet Coin, Bird Feeder and Sweet Tweets, Metal Gates and Weather Vanes, or Closing Up for the Winter, One Last Hurrah, or Double Wedding or Double Honeymoon, perhaps siblings or best friends, perhaps a surprise party at home. Forgiveness comes up, which is 96, and beneath that happy ending, which is 93, the reflection of the Knight of Cups, which is offering or being love, the Page of Pentacles in need of help, money, or opportunity, or just never learns their lesson, or perhaps is an opportunist, or a child with learning blocks, or graduating from school of the hard knocks. Jealous, usury, moody, star, healer, dreamer, or Aquarius, or secret passion, the Queen of Pentacles reversed, or Pisces reversed, Aquarius, who needs to use their intuition. Heartbreak and separation, the school of hard knocks, the class of 57, and now a brand new life and commitment, or the groom or Taurus getting ready to marry, or kids or prearranged double marriage. The Knight of Cups reversed and the Queen of Pentacles reversed may not be happy about it. One with a secret passion and the other one wants to be a star. Or clearing heart or all clear health screen to go forward into a new life or institution. Hierophant or Taurus without options with no message, bad message or bad news or negative self-talk or rumors or mouthy kid, a burden, the Atlas way to the world or Weight is a burden. Passion at night with drinks and reflection, picking out just the right pearl for forgiveness. Recently is the king of swords upright in his integrity, overworking, not working, with kids all over the place, Leo or exposing all without option to Ten of Cups family, with the Knight of Wands rushing in, recovering from exile of rejection and vulnerability, or with the Page of Cups reversed who may be spoiled. The new passion, new passion to the Ten of Pentacles, family, business, community, or legacy, or just their wealth, or to bridge to the Knight of Cups reversed, who may be jealous, and the Knight of Swords rushing in with epiphanies, or about, or after sudden events, and avoiding disasters. The foundation here for the masculine is the Seven of Wands rising up, the wounded warrior in a bold move to move or travel, the injustice of the wounded warrior, standing up to the crowd, or fending them off the car. The central energy here is the Five of Wands upright, the battle, present to bliss, in the worst being over now, with the King of Pentacles upright and the Page of Wands upright inspired, or the King of Pentacles showing off, and the Queen of Wands, or side piece, adornment, showing her the castle, the home, or 5D e-tower, the King of Pentacles upright with the Queen of Wands upright and the Page of Wands upright and the Page of Cups reversed now left behind. It's like three of them went out without the Page of Cups reversed who might have been being bad. The, the block for the masculine here or challenged by the Divine Feminine's heart in the E-Tower, Scrooge holding on to their burdens and responsibilities, not sharing their feelings, holding back or negative exchange and offering the truth to the Ten of Pentacles, family, business, community, legacy or wealth. Satisfied, the King of Swords released, getting their wish at the workplace, at home perhaps, with the Knight of Swords, Messenger of Truth, and the Injustice present in the Romantic Tie at 440, which is the Emperor and the Page of Cups. And that Page of Cups can just be a message or um, a message of rejection as well. Um, patient Angel, Higher Love, Secret Out, 
Twin Peaks and Walking Away and Within, grounding and integrating the truth of the King of Swords guarding truth that's presented to the Sovereign at present. Now is the King of Cups reversed, receiving the Ace of Wands, new passion, growth, creativity, from dumping multiple loads or emotional attachments, falling from grace or not graceful at all, perhaps embarrassed or foolish behavior, and the King of Cups reversed with Page of Pentacles child, or that's just an opportunity or an invitation for the truth or an opportunity to tell the truth before a move or travel or before they marry. Does anyone have a reason these two should not be joined in marriage? Please speak now or forever hold your peace. The King of Wands reversed and the world reversed, or with the Divine Feminine in the 5D world under the radar, was coming up under somebody's breath there as that statement is made, or the King of Cups invited to speak or tell the truth, the whole truth, to Cancer and Taurus, or about a move or travel plans to marry or and or incorporate. The King of Swords upright, standing as a witness perhaps, rising conflict with the King of Cups reversed, Aries reversed, or Libra reversed, or the King of Wands reversed and Pisces reversed, or the Divine Feminine reversed, are together under the radar. Falling on face or from grace, lacking faith, getting over loss, regret, or the past, dumped, dumped on, in the dumps, purging, crying, overwhelmed, or sweating it out, stubborn and blocked, refusing to bridge, suffering or refusing to budge or bridge, suffering in silence or dealing with sister, stressed out, up nights with the queen of wands, knowing but pretending not to, together but at a distance or apart but close, with secret passion, the king, queen of cups reverse, performing, juggling, getting sucked into the cleaning up of the drama or the aftermath of refusing advances to grounding and integrating the truth. The Knight of Wands rescue with the King of Swords and obsession or sovereign with the King of Wands reversed uh, of no affection or just exhausted by the kids or the Knight of Wands and sovereign Knight of Pentacles and the King of Wands reversed or kids are refusing, um, refusing an advance from the Queen of Cups reversed on behalf of the King of Wands reversed, whether he knows it or not, I don't know. Soon is the star seed reversed or Aries reversed, not receiving a big download, they were supposed to, getting over loss, regret, and the past of the Emperor reversed and the Empress reversed and the Ten of Pentacles, family, business, or community, and their wealth. They're both reversed here, holding back the truth. The Six of Cups, abusive childhood or difficult kids, or on the outs with twin, or finding peace when kids go home, healing the king of cups reversed, released from prison, anxiety, their hands being tied, or the fear of sharing, settling out, with clown, whistleblower, performer, a red flag. He sees himself as the eight of cups upright, walking away from lovers at nightly parties, groups socializing or drinking perhaps at home, insecure or without the tools, feeling manipulative at night, or with cancer and divorce, or break from contract or norms supported by the group or friends, or Gemini reversed or Virgo reversed is alone without support and the Taurus reverse is supported by the group, or taking walks at night when people are over the house, um, or, or you know, meeting with them. It's like getting out of the house when, you know, your partner or kids have friends over at 5.07 is the Hierophant and the Chariot, so going for a drive perhaps as well. There's a Gemini upright and a Gemini reversed here, Virgo reversed, Taurus reversed, and Cancer upright here. Um, stay optimistic comes up for the Divine Masculine as well as free yourself. Don't fence me in. And then past life relationship, yes. Around him, or how he's seen as the Three of Cups upright. There's that group supporting the Taurus energy. Coming together, the Queen of Cups reversed, Sovereign, in slow motion with the Hermit's light on. Libra reversed, Virgo upright here. And I, there's a lot of energy of driving somewhere. So f the fact that someone knows that the Hermit's light is on, maybe just driving past a house to see if they're home. The um, Libra reversed and Virgo upright here. The block here is the higher self reversed, where the secret's out, or a need to use their intuition. Grounding and integrating, deliberating too long, 
the King of Cups reversed, released and healing, bored and needing to swallow their pride. Domestic harmony comes up and intuition, but even more so for the masculine here is adventure. Refusing to wake up or get up or just dead tired after death or near death or uh, a manly woman or a womanly man, karma over with the king of wands reversed truth out of sovereign being present in the moment. The king of cups reversed deliberation being indecisive, not hearing the call to action with the king of wands reversed and the king of swords trying to get to the truth, but the kids and the king of wands reversed may be blocking him from telling the truth to the sovereign gift or the sovereign present. Detoxing, Aquarius reversed, rumors, mouth, or Capricorn reversed, negative self-talk, and on a quest, the Knight of Wands is upright with, with a slow burn, with holding time, money, and effort in order to offer love first to the Queen of Pentacles reversed and hang out, hold on, hug, and not let go. No guidance or going through divorce outside the norm or Taurus reversed. Uh, the King of Pentacles upright which can be Akashic Records here, where the worst is now over and the bliss is setting in to a higher love, the angelic realms. The King of Swords is up here at the head of the reed there, as well as the Knight with the Hermit's Light, implementing a plan for lovers and the Queen of Pentacles reversed. The journey for good news to the Knight of Wands, deliberating peace talks, and no options rising up and walking away from the Three of Cups group or party, the King of Swords on a quest, and challenged by the Divine Feminine's heart in the E-Tower, lacking faith in a secret passion, needing to use their intuition, the King of Cups reversed, deliberating, holding back a decision, chickening out perhaps, and the Knight of Wands upright and Taurus reversed, the King of Pentacles upright, um, altogether, the worst is over for them, with patient angel or Sagittarius or higher love. No options for the King of Swords with Taurus married or to marry and commit, rising above drama on a quest. With conflict with the King of Cups reversed and challenged by the implementation of a plan of action, an exit strategy, the Divine Feminine's heart in the E-Tower walking away, lacking faith in coming together in joy with secret passion and a need to swallow their pride, and that it's the divine feminine is the conflict there, but it's more like the um, the uh, the divine masculine challenged by lacking faith and coming together in joy with secret passion and a need to swallow their pride with the knight of wands with a slow burn, perhaps the king of pentacles upright with Taurus moon or no guidance, and now the worst is over, and now. The bliss is finally here at 526, which is the Hierophant and the Page of Wands, which is that inspiration. So I'm going to pull a, an energy card. And it's 3803. 38 is the Queen of Cups and 3 is the Empress. So that could be the Queen of Cups abundance. Um, but the Queen of Cups and the Empress were both reversed today. That can also be a mother and daughter. It can be a karmic partner and a divine feminine. Just depends on your dynamic. It could be a grandparent. It could be a parent. It could be two sisters, one much older than the other. Oop, how did I get this in here? There's meta, so a couple of Metatron cards were in there. I'm kind of curious to see which cards were stuck in there. Oh, they, they were all the ones that came out earlier. All right, so for the energy deck, for everybody watching, for the best and highest good of all those concerned, what do we need to know? What do we need to learn? And let's clear all negative energies across all dimensions of time, space, matter, and realities for the highest good of all is concerned and fill that empty space with only beautiful divine love and diamond crystalline light. And so it is. Thank you, thank you, thank you. What is our takeaway from this read? What was the point of this read? What do we need to know? All right. So the bottom of the deck is the woman holding a coin and she's very much about the empress the kind of moody empress energy there, but we have the 42 of the two of cups. So there's some kind of partnership. This comes off as a financial or business partnership with a, perhaps a woman boss or the woman who's the financial backer, but she doesn't look like a real friendly person. And that could be kind of a, a mother who's, who's kind of tainted as well. 
So we have the 30 of the unit energy, the gate, the guard and the gate of someone who's perhaps afraid to go out or take the first steps. And here's the butterflies trying to coax her to come out. And then we have the community here, the seven of the chariot. So there could be friends coming to the home to try to get the divine feminine to come out or even a child of the masculine to come out of their house. So if they're not coming out of the house, these could be the friends that are coming over to party with them. And so this is why the divine masculine is leaving the house because there's always friends over. Okay, because there's a, because of social distancing, there might be people just coming over the house all the time. The same friends every day or, you know, it can be the partner's friends, the child's friends, whatever it is. Again, these are like, these are the friends here or the community being the butterflies trying to coax this one out of the house because they're kind of afraid to leave. So there's some anxiety there. And these are all feminine energies here. Beneath the uh, empress is the broken heart, all right? So she's definitely not in a good state here, but she holds all the money. The, um, the two of cups, though, is reversed. So she might have lost money, and that might be why she's pissed off, all right? And again, here is a child maybe who can't go out because the, the finances aren't what they used to be. And so now she has friends over instead of going out so they don't spend any money. So it's interesting that the, the feminine energies are all coming up around the divine masculine situation. Okay, so make sure you drink your water, get your rest, get your joy, get your nature, guys. Um, yeah. <sighs> I forgot to take a picture for you, but I'll put the main picture up for you. Uh, rise and be love, you guys. I'll see you soon.